Welcome back to 843 TV here on the beautiful Spring Island dock and John and Chris are sharing with us all about the island and Chris uh, we were talking about the nature program and all the different things the ecosystems tell us a little bit more and continue with uh, that uh, as far as what you've got to offer how that plays into the life of a resident here with when people move here, uh, many of them have had a very busy life uh, in terms of in an urban setting, uh, spent much of their time engaged with whether it's raising children or just careers. And so when you come here or when you start anew, so to speak, you're looking for something that brings variety. And the great thing about uh, getting interested in nature is there's so many different aspects to nature that people, when they start learning about one particular thing, they get to do a lot of discoveries on their own. But to do that, you need somebody to show you, just like with learning a new sport or anything else. And so, as I mentioned to you before, we have the Master Naturalist program that we do uh, for the community at large, which includes people beyond the boundaries of Spring Island. But we also do a whole series of nature programs specifically for Spring Island members. Uh, uh, whether they are morning trips out with Tony Mills, our uh, education director who does our TV show, Coastal Kingdom, or Kristen Matson, who's uh, one of our other environmental educators who uh, really loves teaching people about astronomy as well as plants. Uh, we also do programs after dark where we're showing people owls and other nocturnal life. So through all these different sorts of experiences, people start seeing the world differently around them. And when you live on Spring Island, so much of that is in your backyard or you see it when you're driving from the golf course to check your mail. And so everything starts looking different and you, there's more things to look for and that's exciting. I have to absolutely agree with you. You're know, living in this low country area. It's just so wonderful just to look at the nature and just appreciate all the creation of the trees and the birds and the wildlife and the marsh. I, totally agree with that. It's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, let's talk a little bit more about that, Chris, because, you know, we're, we're, we've talked a, a, a lot about Spring Island in particular, but it's, it's part of a, this greater area we call the Low Country. And we're, we're really surrounded by one of the greatest salt marshes in the, in, in the world, right? That's correct. <laughs> and I, I, that's why this is just a great setting for us to talk about. Spring Island is, is very special, but What's also special is the fact that it's location and what surrounds it. So as we say on Spring On, you spend half your time looking in Spring On, but half looking out. Right. And so um, if you, like behind us, this salt marsh is actually part of what we call the Port Royal Sound uh, area. Uh, it's a system. Our estuary is very different because it is actually an extension of the ocean. Mm -hmm. There's no freshwater rivers running into this system. As a result, we actually have marine environment going 22 miles inland. Hmm. Because we are halfway in that system, we're right in the middle of it, we're 12 miles from the ocean, yet we're surrounded by very deep water. This tidal creek right next to us is 20 feet deep. Uh, it has tarpon rolling here, the dolphins are coming in, I've seen sea turtle heads pop up here. <laughs> so when we're talking about exploring nature, the great thing about it is all you have to do is jump in a boat yeah. and it go out and you've got, you know, a huge area that you can go for miles and miles, whether it's fishing or bird watching or just enjoying the other natural experiences you can have here. Yeah. And that's what makes it special. Yeah, and the Port Royal Sound is like, it's filled with wildlife, isn't it? It is. It is truly a unique place. It's the deepest natural harbor uh, in the southeastern United States. There's a lot of history here. There's a, a Port Royal Sound Foundation that has a maritime center nearby, so it provides lots of opportunities as well. So when people move to Spring Island, they may spend their first year exploring the island, but there's so much nature that surrounds us that it's a lifetime of discovery. Mm -hmm. And Chris, I think it's important to note too, uh, with all that, they're still very close to the grocery store to places they can get where you like to for practical needs. It's oh, just a few minutes to Beaufort or to Bluffton the other way and there's all the resources so they have the best of both worlds. Exactly and, and that's why we're a series of sea islands and so if you want to go to a nice grocery store or restaurants you're, you're right around the corner. What I've learned after being to the big cities is we have a little bit of distance but we get there a lot faster than those people that live in <laughs> places with a lot of stoplights and traffic. Yeah. yeah. Well, I've heard you use uh, 
as a des descriptor for this area is the Jackson Hole of the Southeast <laughs> or the East Coast, actually. I mean, what does that mean? The reason I, I pick that term is when you say Jackson Hole, people immediately around the country have a vision of an area that, where there's a, a very nice place to go and spend your time as a vacation, but it's surrounded by large expanses of nature. Mm -hmm. And where we happen to be located here in Southern South Carolina, most people don't realize we're in the same situation. But yeah. we are right to the north of us is Charleston. It's an hour and a half drive away, but most of that land between has been preserved. There's 225,000 acres of nature preserves or large uh, hunting plantations that are under conservation easement. So one of the great things we get to do as a community is that the Spring Island Trust takes groups of people up for nature experiences up in this Ace Basin, as the area is referred to. Uh, to the south of us is the Georgia coast, where a majority of the islands, uh, coastal islands, are set aside and preserved. And so we take our trips and tours program is one of the things that the trust does. And we take people, for example, to Little St. Simon's Island. 32 people went with us for three days down there. And then to the west of us, we have the Savannah River drainage and it's got 165,000 acres that's preserved of river swamp. Yeah. And so no matter which direction you go here, there's large uh, undeveloped areas that will be protected for uh, centuries we hope to come but yeah. for many generations mm -hmm. and so it's just a great place to spend time and nestled within that we've got Savannah and Charleston which are two of the most special historic cities uh, to visit that you, in the country so it, it's a great place for if you love both history and nature to spend the rest of your life yeah it is that's great absolutely Chris John we got to take another quick break stick around for one more segment of 843 TV